I first alert AccuWeather forecast with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Tuesday here on Sunrise. A bit chilly out there this morning. 49 in Columbus with light winds out of the northeast across the area. Some spots between 0 and 5 miles an hour. 45 in Amory down to 45 in Tupelo. Calhoun City, good morning to you. It's 48. It's also 46 in Louisville right now. We're watching some showers and a big area of clouds off to our west here. These showers that are coming our way, I don't think they make it. I think they dry off and uh, fizzle out here before all is said and done. Futurecast tends to agree, but it will not rule out chance for an isolated shower throughout the morning and afternoon hours. I think many of us, though, staying dry today with increasing clouds. By the afternoon, look for a mostly cloudy sky with temperatures up into these upper 60s, even low 70s. Our winds will shift out of the east between 5 and 10 miles an hour. We've got 70 for a high in Columbus and in Starkville, 71 in West Point, Pontotoc. 68. We'll get to 67 in Nayuka, 72 in Macon, Vernon. 71 will be our afternoon high. Big interest of the week here is the big low pressure system, the big storm that's forming off in the Great Plains here. A very classic look to it here, bringing blizzard and heavy snow to much of the upper Great Plains, storms and rain to the east. That includes us here. As we get into Wednesday afternoon and evening, this warm front lifts off to the north, and that sets the stage for some stronger storms in our area Wednesday night through the day on Thursday. Futurecast says after 7 p.m. is when our window of opportunity opens up here, and we'll see those storms roll on in here. Slow movers. They really are moving slow. Notice to 11 o'clock, have not moved all that much. Continue their slow eastward progression here as we get to 3 a.m. coming through the west Alabama and across the border here, and continuing still 6, 7, 8 a.m. dealing with those storms. I do think that then Thursday afternoon, the cold front is lagging behind. That may mean we get a few more pop-up showers and storms and maybe even a stronger storm as we get into Thursday afternoon. We're going to have our window of opportunity here for our midweek storms lead from Wednesday night through Thursday afternoon and evening. Some gusty winds over 60 mile an hour, the biggest threat. Will not rule out a spin-up tornado and, of course, heavy rain, also something that we'll have to watch. After we get this big system out of here, then Friday through Sunday and even Monday, looking a lot cooler quieter, keeping things nice here. That nice weather looks to continue through much of next week. Now it's time for sports with Courtney.